Hey guys, what's up? I have a random haul to show you. Um, no fashion, mainly beauty and then miscellaneous. Um, I haven't filmed in like a week. Last week was a really shitty week, so I just want to like get back into it with the haul. So I picked up Happy Death Day to you uh, when it came out and I have a giveaway for um, the digital code on my channel right now. I filmed that before this, so I think it still will be going on when this goes up. So uh, yeah, I'll link that video down below if you want to enter to win, what am I doing, <laughs> if you want to enter to win the digital code. But um, I picked this up at Best Buy, I think it was like 20 bucks. I think this movie is really cute. Um, I saw this in the theater with my daughter and we both really liked it. A lot of people didn't like it because it wasn't horror enough for them. Reminding me a lot of Back to the Future 2. I actually want to watch the first one and this one back to back. My friend Jackie stopped by my house on Mother's Day, which was three weeks ago. And she gave me a little card with a dog on it and a rose. And I feel really bad because um, last week was her mom's funeral. And I've known Jackie since we were 13, so 7th grade. Her mom was always very quiet, but a very sweet woman. Rest in peace, Mama Ida. I've been following a few uh, Instagrammers who strictly post like TJ Maxx finds of like high-end makeup, and I'm so jealous because I never find that stuff. Um, I feel like a lot of it is in California, but I rarely find stuff at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. But I did find this Japanese Lux powder brush for $4.99. I already opened it. This looks like the perfect powder brush, and I think they're discontinuing Japanese at Ulta. Maybe that's why they're in TJ Maxx. They have some of their eye brushes there too, but I really don't need any new eye brushes but I was in need of a powder brush and I like that this is smaller because right now I'm using the Real Techniques uh, powder brush and I feel like it's so big that just like it doesn't have it doesn't give me a precise application so yeah for five bucks it looks like a really well-made brush and I got sent some stuff from Trust Brothers I want to try these products before I post anything about them because I'm not so familiar with CBD oil this company reached out to me if I wanted to try their products so they sent me this hello fresh face daily skin re-energizer pure hemp CBD oil and it was sealed I already opened it though because I wanted to see what it looked like it kind of smells citrusy with a little medication like light medication I'm not sure what I'm smelling but it's a moisturizer so I'm gonna try this tomorrow and then this is their hello happiness CBD oil I emailed Frank from the company and asked him how to use this so when he gets back to me I will try this let me know if you guys have tried CBD oil or CBD products um, and like what it does for your body so I'll review those products after I try them a bit if you want to check out their website it's trustbrotherscbd.com and for 20% off you can use first 20 but I think the code they're gonna make me is like a free product or something like that so I'll keep you guys posted on that I thrifted a couple of things from savers but not enough to do a thrift haul um, um, Marie Claire this was 99 cents so this is with Lupita I always thrift magazines because I do like my collages from fashion magazines um, so whenever I see a good one at a thrift store I get it and then I found this necklace and it was only $2.99 I like wearing this stuff when I wear something really simple so it could be like the standout piece $2.99 that's such a great deal so I got those things from Savers I went to Cali like over a month ago and I usually go crazy at Daiso there because there's no Daiso in Vegas and I literally saw nothing there just got like a bunch of like Asian snacks and those are gone <laughs> but I found this charcoal nasal pore cleansing gel pack so it's like the charcoal nose strip but like in mass form that you peel off and this one is made in Japan so everything at Daiso is $1.50 unless it's priced um, differently and then um, I posted this on Instagram a while uh, Robin Paris if you guys uh, watch the room she played um, Lisa's friend or best friend whatever um, she's doing the room actors where are they now I think this is season two so I contributed on her Kickstarter and um, this was my perk this is Chris R and it says where's my effing caffeine I thought this was really cute and it's on both sides I think I'm gonna put this like on my vanity and put like makeup brushes in it or something I'm not gonna use it as a coffee mug and then a few things from Ulta I picked up another essence lash princess I go through these a lot I think I go through these like every month and a half and it's like only $4.99 it's like my favorite mascara and you can use the Ulta coupons because it's drugstore. My Ulta recently started carrying Milani and I've always wanted to try 
tried the, their eyeshadow primer. I used to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion and I felt like it was really gluey. Um, and then I switched to NARS and then I finished the NARS ones up. I'm not purchasing any more NARS except for the pencil sharpener because they were cruelty free and they're not anymore. I don't use everything cruelty free but when you were and then you're not anymore because you're greedy, I'm not gonna buy your products. So I hope the Milani one is good. Let me know if you guys have tried this. And then I ran out of my favorite cleanser, the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Scrub Cleanser. I think I had like Ulta points or something. That's why I got this there instead of um, during the Sephora sale. So yeah, this is the cleanser that I use in the morning, and that's all I got from Ulta. And I just went to Walmart, um, we went to Walmart at midnight to pick up dog food. And I've been wanting to try the Flower Beauty Sponge. I heard it's really like squishy, and it applies well, and it's a lot bigger than the Beauty Blender. And I just threw away two of my crusty Beauty Blenders. So I only have uh, the one left that I just purchased uh, during the Sephora sale, so I figured how to get like another backup sponge. I don't like the Real Technique sponge, it breaks on me. So I hope this one's good. This one was like $8.98, which is half the price of a beauty blender. In my VIB sale haul, I said I ordered um, the Charlotte Tilbury powder, and it came in like after I uploaded that video, so I just want to show you guys. Um, you know what's funny? I thought the packaging would be a, like heavier and more luxurious, and it feels like really cheap plastic. It's called the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder, and I got it in two medium. I like that it has no scent because I have sensitive skin. I don't understand why a lot of um, luxury brands scent their makeup. That's just gross. I heard this powder is really good. Like regular price is $45. This better be like some magic powder. And this is new at Sephora. This is their Golden Hour Luminous Bronzer in Daybreak. Look how big this is. I have it on today and I love it. It's a freaking beautiful bronzer. Like usually when I use bronzer, I have to like buff it out because it's too much. And this is like... It's like a bronzer with a little glow, so you don't really need to buff it out that much. It's just really pretty, and this was 20 bucks. This bronzer will suit a lot of skin tones. It's really pretty. I love it so far. And then I used 100 points on this Glam Go Insta Mud 60 Second Pore Refining Treatment. I don't know which mask this is because I'm not familiar with the color of this packaging. I don't know if it's new or not, but I wanted to try it for 100 points. I've been looking for like new face masks to try, and then I totally forgot to get this during the Sephora. A sale. I've been wanting to try the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna eyeliner and I'm wearing it right now and I love it. It's super black but the only problem with this eyeliner is say you put it on and then it dries a little and you mess up and then you try and like take off a little it chunks up. The Marc Jacobs one that I use doesn't do that so I don't know that's just the first time I used it what happened we'll see um, but I really like it so far I love the shape of the pen and it gave me like a precise way and I think there's only like one shade <laughs> she named it cuz I'm black this is only 20 bucks and, I, and the Marc Jacobs one I use is like 28 I believe and the last thing I got they packaged it really well um, I don't know if they had problems with like these shattering I got this during the Memorial Day sale Natasha Denona mini Lila Leela palette and I'm never gonna buy like her giant palettes I'm not spending like 300 or even like a hundred dollars on a palette I think that's crazy but it's really pretty I did get like one of her five pan palettes a couple years ago and it annoyed me because I had to use my finger so I don't know if this will be the same uh, or if she changed her formula. This purple color is super gorge, and then these two are very like everyday colors, but these are on sale for $12.50, so I wanted to try it. And that's it for my Sephora stuff. And I just got this money magazine from Barnes & Noble because Sophia Amoruso is in it, and I've been wanting to see what she's been up to after Nasty Gal. So that's everything I have to show you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.